we're going to go over three things you can do to protect your variable rate mortgage from increasing interest rates. And we're going to start right now. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. You have a variable rate mortgage and it was such a low interest rate when you signed up. Now that rates are going higher, that low rate doesn't look that low anymore. I mean, it's still low relative to what the average interest rate are, but now you're thinking, mm, what if, what if my parents who lived in the 80s were right and interest rates continue to go up and up and up? Those are questions I've been answering quite often and I've been offering these three options. First one, you can convert your variable mortgage into a fixed rate mortgage. If you decide to do this, expect your interest rate to be at least 2% more than what you are currently paying. This translates to about $107 for every $100,000 mortgage. And the average mortgage is about 500,000. That means your payment will increase by about $535 per month. Is this really the best option though? You may want to take it if you really can't sleep at night and you want to do whatever it takes to make your rate stop moving. Here's another way though, and this seems to be a more popular option. I've been helping clients who are considering locking in and calculating what their payments would be if they do want to proceed. But instead of changing the mortgage to fixed, which would automatically increase the cost of the mortgage, we left it variable, but increased the monthly payment instead. If we do it this way, you are able to save on the increased 2% by leaving it variable, and you are paying your mortgage more aggressively. That $535 increase in payments, well, that all goes to your principal amount instead of having that portion going to your bank. I always tell clients that there's no point in trying to guess and time what the Bank of Canada will do. We have no control over that. What we have control over is how much you can borrow. If the rate increases, you can offset that increase by borrowing less. And in order to borrow less, you can choose to increase your monthly payment or make a lump sum to your mortgage. And lastly, for some of you, it's not just the mortgage rate, but you're just really concerned about the rising monthly payment. It's creeping up and you're wondering, can I continue to afford the payments moving forward? If that's you, there's a solution that I've been advising and that is you can refinance your mortgage and bring your mortgage up to 30 year amortization. If you had your mortgage for a few years, your property has probably gone up in value and your mortgage has decreased and you've created equity in your home and we can utilize that. With a refinance, we can borrow the same amount you have right now or a little bit more to give you extra cash as a buffer to have on hand for future payments. But the trick is to set the amortization back to 30 years. That will greatly reduce your mortgage payment. And how will we set it up? We can still set up as a variable rate mortgage, mainly because that'll offer the lowest rate available but we can choose a lender that doesn't increase the payment right away if interest rate goes up. Yes, some banks will do that. Payments stay the same even when rates goes up. How that works is with the same payment, more will simply go towards interest and less to principal, but the payment itself stays the same. And there you go. We just talked about three things you can do to protect your variable rate mortgage from increasing interest rates. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.